Welcome to another video from Gui Lao 60 and Jerry from This Is China. We're doing a two-part series here today, guys. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm gonna call it the safe zone. Uh, why is it so safe in China? But you know, it's not just the idea that it's safe here in China. It, it The safeness gives you freedom. I'm walking in a park this morning. It's uh, just before eight o'clock in the morning. And uh, I don't see any homeless people. I don't see any drug addicts. I don't see any uh, shady characters. What I see is older people walking, younger people uh, uh, running around uh, the pass here. There you go. Uh, I see a safe zone here in China. And it's not just in the parks. It's not just in the morning. It's not uh, in the afternoon. It's all night, all day, every day. And at the end of this video, make sure to go over to Jerry's channel. This is China. The link is in the description below and I'm going to put it on the screen a couple times through this video so that you can flip over there whenever you want if you get tired of looking at my ugly face. Um, but uh, make sure you go over there and when you go over to Jerry's uh, channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share. Uh, make this guy famous. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the middle of Qingdao, Meifu Square on a busy walking street with an awesome, awesome view behind me. And I can tell you today, I have no fear of sitting here, you know, that fear of someone is gonna kill you or even someone stealing my camera that I'm shooting on right now. I have absolutely zero fear for that. And that you call freedom of fear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my point I wanna talk about right now. Think about this. I can let my wife and kid walk on the streets any time of day and I have absolutely no worry that anything will happen to them. Now that is every man's dream, especially if your husband looking after your kid and your wife. Now this brings me to a story that I want to share with you guys. So I went out the night in a taxi uh, before I was married, obviously, and I went out on the town in Xi'an when I lived there and we had a great night, a boys night, if you know what I mean. There was a lot of shots of tequilas. We just had a good time, right? Anyway, on my back way home, I took a taxi and I forgot my wallet inside the taxi. Obviously, I was a little drunk that night. I went into my apartment, I fell asleep, and you know, I woke up the next morning and I discovered that my wallet was gone. Now, listen to this. Two days after that, I went back to work and yeah, my management sent me a WeChat message and said, hey, listen, there are police officials looking for you at the school. And instantly, I had this worry, what the hell did I do wrong? And as I came down the hallway and I saw these guys, they were like, listen, is this you? And they showed me like my license. They showed me everything, my face, you know, on a, on a piece of paper, all my details on there. And I was like, yeah, that is me. And they said, did you lose your wallet? And I was like, yeah, I did. Anyway, they gave me back my wallet, police officials after two days. Now they told me the taxi driver picked up the wallet at the back on the seat after he already picked up three people after me. And that taxi driver took that wallet back to the police station for them to find me. Because inside there were money, there were driver's licenses and all my bank cards. Where in the world does this happen? Some of this I attribute to uh, a very, very strict penal system here in China. If you get caught uh, for murder, they will off you no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You don't get life imprisonment. Uh, you don't get uh, taken care of for the rest of your life, medical and all this other stuff. If you go to prison, if you do something, a violent crime, uh, there are severe, I, and I'm telling you, severe penalties for that here in China. Um, and if you go to jail for a long time, it is not a place where you have a television set and you have a gymnasium and you get three square meals a day and medical and all this other stuff. Well, you might get medical if you're really sick, but they make it here in China uh, such a bad experience in prison that you never, you never want to go back there again. And uh, so there's a deterrent there in the West. Not so much. Uh, you look at the United States. Um, Safe zone? Absolutely not. Uh, Chicago, 3,000 shootings in a year. I know. Uh, so Central LA, gang infested place. Yeah. Uh, you, you get, but then again, you know, you get into places like uh, Minot, North Dakota. 
that's nice. Uh, you get into a place like uh, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Not bad. You know, so it's it's area specific in the United States, but not area specific here in China. Everywhere in China is safe. Ladies and gentlemen, China for me is a green zone, safe zone, if you will. I mean, look at the handling of the coronavirus. Now, listen to this. China's got a lot of experience if it gets to disasters. Earthquakes, I actually made a video about it. You can check the link up here. Earthquakes, floods, you know, the new virus that spread out through the world. China got all their people into lockdown. They got all their people to follow instructions. They got all their people to stand together and fight this thing, you know, and even economically they are busy fighting this virus. Whereas if you look at the US, they are the country with the highest numbers and they were supposed to be the, co the country that leads the world. Um, it's not safe in America, guys. It's not safe around the world, to be honest with you. But here in China, I feel goddamn safe. Staying here knowing this government takes care of its people and foreigners living here. And my kid and my wife can roam across the street safely. And if you noticed, I don't have my mask on today. Yes, because it's very safe in this area where I stand right now. But I want to tell you guys out there, do not listen to your politicians. Face masks work. And as I said, with, with the, the safe comes freedom. Uh, people can go out. They feel when they feel safe they feel that they can go out and do whatever they want they can go to the park uh, they can walk to the the local grocery store at 10 o'clock at night uh, they can uh, basically go anywhere and do anything they want without the fear of being harassed without the fear of being robbed uh, killed raped uh, assaulted any of those things which is uh, one of the things that really really make it free here in China and uh, you know like who, who wants to screw this guy here he would buck toy your ass in a heartbeat are the people in uh, other countries as free as China no I don't think so I know that uh, Jerry is going to have a different view on what is safe uh, or what is freedom uh, than I am as a Canadian because you know Canada's not that bad I, I look at Canada and I give Canada a bad rap sometimes but in the eyes of uh, the world Canada is pretty good uh, we don't have a very high crime rate uh, we do have a lot of drug abuse in in Canada I think any Western country has a lot of drug abuse uh, a lot of alcoholism uh, but we don't have a lot of violence it's just our our country's just not a violent place and uh, Jerry comes from South Africa which could be considered a very violent place China is a hate-free country now what do I mean with that as I mentioned earlier I'm from a country called South Africa where we have so much hate among the races in that country that it's 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 insane to live there guys it's seriously <laughs> mind-boggling how much hate lives in a country like South Africa. Here in China, it's non-existent. And what I mean with that is, if you look at the people behind me, they have no hate towards each other. These guys help each other. They respect each other. This for me is real freedom. Think about it. I believe this is a modern democracy, if you will. <laughs> real democracy for me is freedom and peace among people. Okay, and there's going to be those people out there that say, well, you can't say anything against the government or the, the government in China will throw you in jail. Well, you tell that to uh, Julian Assange. You tell that to Edward Snowden. You tell that to uh, Chelsea Manning. Chelsea. <laughs> anyway, you know, you know what I mean? So uh, there's, there's that in every country. Uh, so you can't say, oh, that's an authoritarian government because you can't do this and you can't do that. I look around, like I've been here for over 17 years now, and I look around at the people in this country and they don't seem like they're being suppressed at all. You know what I mean? This is a park early in the morning in Nanning, China. But this isn't just a park early in the morning in Nanning, China. This is a park 
early in the morning anywhere in China. It's, it's like this everywhere. You go to a park, go to Central Park in New York City. Exactly. Go, go to any park in the United States. I'm not saying that all of them are bad, but there's a lot of them that, you know, you've got homeless people, you've got tents set up, you've got the smell of shit in the, in the background because there's no toilets for them. Uh, and, and do you feel safe? in that park okay now that's at eight o'clock in the morning do you feel safe in that park at 10 o'clock at night as a single female walking through that park i could tell you right now walking through this park at 10 o'clock at night a single female can feel just as safe as she does walking downtown during the day because nobody i mean nobody is going to harass you assault you rape you kill you rob you it's just not the way it is here in china and I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again, and I'll probably say it again in the future, that the idea that the internet is throttled here in China makes it a safer place. And, and you say, oh, what are you talking about, Guela? Well, the, the idea that the children don't grow up with porn, they don't grow up watching violence all the time on the internet, uh, they don't grow up uh, with people trying to lure them over the internet. They, they don't grow up with that stigma of uh, turning 30 when they're 13, you know, in their mind because they've seen too much. And I think the innocence of the Chinese people because of the censorship, yes, I use the C word, censorship of the internet is a good thing just for the fact that they aren't jaded by the time they get into high school. They uh, still have that innocence about them and I think that has a lot to do with why China is a safe zone. Seriously, just for the fact that the people don't think violence. They don't <laughs> they just they just don't you know you get a whole park full of people walking around uh, not one of them has anything on their mind other than getting some exercise going out hanging out with friends uh, you know just having fun and uh, this is China hey Jerry good 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 uh, good title to your to your channel this is China And for the second half of this video, you're going to have to go over to uh, Jerry's channel, This Is China, and uh, uh, the link is in the description below, and I'm going to put it on the screen a couple times during this video. Uh, he has a different perspective. He's from South Africa. Um, I'm from Canada, and uh, we're sort of going to go back and forth and tell you what we think through, through both of these videos. And uh, don't forget, when you go over to his channel, subscribe, like, hit the bell. But for sure, subscribe. He's, he's got a good channel. That's another video from Guilao60 and Jerry from This Is China. I'm sure that Jerry's stuff is, is different than mine and uh, we'll have to wait and see what comes out of his uh, video. But after you're done watching this video, go over to Jerry's uh, for the second half of, of this two-part series. Uh, his, his link is in the description below and I'm gonna put it on the, on the screen here right now. So go over there. Anyway, that's another video from Guilao60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, and whatever you do, guys and girls, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Poor rural Chinese children. Thanks for watching. Bye now.